in August last year, Uganda's highest appellate court outlawed a refund of bride price upon the dissolution of a customary marriage. The justices ruled that refunding bride price was akin to women in a marketplace and infringed on their right to divorce. Gender activists want this decision to be part of the Gender Equality and Development Bill currently tabled before the East African Legislative Assembly. The issue of returning bread price and putting a price on the woman as if she was some piece of commodity or some piece of furniture, that is what we were against and uh, we came out clearly until the government outlawed the demand for the return of the bread price. We are moving beyond repugnant cultures that have kept us in bondage. So we want those, some of those repugnant cultures done away with. During a consultative meeting held at Imperial in Kampala, human rights activists observed that cultural practices that infringe on women in the region should be outlawed. For example, my daughter recently got married to a Muganda. He did not pay bride price, but my daughter went with dowry. So you get a girl then being rated on the basis of however much money or cows or animals, and you really cannot rate a human being on the basis of that. The campaign to pass the bill is being spearheaded by the Eastern African Sub-Regional Support Initiative for Development of Women and the National Women Organizations of Uganda. So, so we shall also continue influencing laws that every law that comes in this country must be gender sensitive, must take into account women and men, girls and boys, because we are equal citizens. Uh, the community doesn't belong to uh, heads of state or to technical officials. The community belongs to East Africa. So we have to take charge and ensure that appropriate laws that uh, protect 